Okay, the setup is almost a million times better than I could have possibly anticipated. My PS4 is down there, modem is here, and the switch lands right where I could use it. I'm just literally spamming eggs, bro. I don't know what's Holy going on. Holy camoli. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> bro. The purpose of a lag switch in most video games is either invincibility or invisibility. NBA 2K18 is the least skilled basketball game in the entire franchise, and you have to use lag switches to get ahead? I'm telling you my guy is not a good look. I've been getting DM saying the devs are even confused as to how it's possible to lag switch. So do you guys remember about four or five months ago I dropped a video of this lag switcher on the Antia? His name is Delayed Snags. I can't stand this stage of none of the people in this sh <laughs> Yo, I, trust me, I know this shit because I used to have a lag switch back when I played SOCOM. That was the meta. You had to have a lag switch in case somebody tried to lag switch you. You needed to be able to fight against that shit. Oh His lag switch broke! His lag switch broke! Bro, look at the ball! <laughs> look at the ball! Oh my god! Okay, since then, I didn't think lag switching was gonna blossom into this major issue it is now. But I've been getting more and more tweets. I've been getting DM saying the devs are even confused as to how it's possible to lag switch. Now, I am an ex lag switcher. Back in the days, uh, SOCOM was the first competitive game I played. And long story short, there was some fing scumbags and they had lag switches. The only way you could hit back is if you had one of your own. So most people that were in the competitive scene built their own lag switch. So let's say you're playing an online game. You and another guy are facing off. Well, if you were to flip on your lag switch, you would appear frozen to him. In the meantime, you can run behind him, flip it back on, and as the server resyncs, you will end up behind him, where you can do whatever you want. So let me explain the context, because you need to understand what's really happening so you could so you could get the full picture. This is a photo of a lag switch. It's not a complicated device, it's just an Ethernet cable with a switch attached, just a regular light switch. The whole purpose of a lag switch is you sh you, you basically want to control the consistency of your connection. So if you flick the light switch off, your connection is gone. And when you flip it back on, your connection is back. The purpose of a lag switch in most video games is either invincibility or invisibility. You can turn the switch off and then nobody will know where you are. Well, on, on their screen, you'll be stuck like this because that's the last time you had connection. So your body will be stuck like this. But while you turn the lag switch off, you can run across the map. You can't use it too much or you'll lag out. But you can run across the map. So when you switch it back on, you it's like you teleported from this location to this location because you didn't have connection through all that running you were doing. <laughs> it's like, it's like... God. We can't get two seconds without <laughs> lagging, bro. Yo, use your stick, bro. Hold, hold up for three seconds and click square. <laughs> Bruh. See? I That's how you do it. This. I just play off rhythm instead of playing off what you're looking at. <laughs> buckets, baby. I'm gonna scroll all the buckets like that. So as I say that, you might be wondering, Agent, how is it possible that people are using it effectively in NBA 2K? Let's talk. Lag switches only work in peer-to-peer -peer servers. Do you guys remember in Modern Warfare 2 when you left? If you were the host, it would say, finding new host. It needed a host to run the server so the rest of the game can play, so at all times it has to have had a host. But on NBA 2K, there's no peer-to-peer. -peer. It's dedicated servers, which means 2K runs the servers. Somewhere in the world, 2K has a studio with a lot of servers set up, and that's where everything is run. So if you lag switch with dedicated servers, that means you're lagging too. So how does it benefit you to lag yourself and the other team? So if you guys remember in that video I dropped four or five months ago, I was getting lag switched for days. Now, the guy was pretty clever with it because he only lag switched on our offensive possessions. On his offensive possessions, he's kicking it, he's doing his thing, he's not bothered. But when we're on offense and we're looking to make a shot or do some dribble moves or set a screen, we can't do it if we're lagging 24 seven. Now, in most games, the case is if you lag switch too much, you get kicked out. Because if your internet connectivity is too spotty, they'll just assume your internet connection can't hold staying in the game, and they'll boot you. Oh. Oh. Do your God. thing, bro. Use your rhythm. I'm spamming eggs. I'm just literally spamming eggs, bro. I don't know what's Holy going on. Holy camoli. <laughs> Dude. 
<laughs> Bro. Oh my god. So my guy Benny Wonder hit me up. He's like, yo, agent, let's run park. And I was like, what? I haven't ran park casually in forever. I was like, cool, let's run park. I DM'd a few guys. I got Cole, the man, to hop on with me. Say we need somebody who could dribble like a king. It was about two games into a regular park session and we were being lag switched. Thing about 2K18, unlike 2K17, is when you lag switch on one court, it doesn't just affect the court, it affects the entire park. Bro, these, these devs, after so much proof, mans are admitting that they boot and, and that they have lag switches. They don't believe that They're lag switches stupid. Possible, yeah, that, which is like- th This shit right here could ruin uh, that's, 19. Like the, the whole first impressions of it. Especially on and the anti up. Beyond the anti up, because every grinder, every person that's streaming their game, all the geeks, all that shit, niggas is gonna fuck with them. Unbelievable. Not, not, not that they don't want to address it. That they think that it doesn't exist. It's like, it's like flat earthers. It's like, what, what kind of proof do you need before you believe the Earth is round? These guys <laughs> just are willfully ignorant. On top of that, and maybe this is the biggest problem because, all right, okay, so this is a complex situation. It's not that easy to stop. At least we should be able to ban the people, IP ban the people who are doing it. No, we can't. It doesn't matter how much we report somebody, how much we tell 2K support about somebody, all the people lag switching are still playing the game today. See, that's the main problem for me. And as a YouTuber, I'm gonna catch it more than anybody because when people play me, they wanna win. So what do people do when they wanna win? They get desperate. And anytime you get desperate, if you have that switch laying around, you might be inclined to touch it. It got to the point where we were kinda just having fun with it. Oh, damn, a hop from three feet away. Let's get everybody in the paint. You got it, Cole, you got it! Did is that, that a pump it? fake, or are you going up with it? That was a I've pump been fake. Holding it, bro. How was that not three in the key? <laughs> what the f- <laughs> bro, I literally was holding square the whole time. Oh my I didn't god. Even know what was going on. It literally makes playing on the high stake anti-ups a risk. There's no way to report people, and even when you try and tell somebody, like, do something about this, nothing ever gets done. So people are just gonna buy more and more of these things. Oh, okay, take this in. 2K, I have a brilliant idea. This is gonna solve the problem for everybody. Get the ISP, take them to court. Get that information from them, all right? Get the IP of these people doing the lag switches, right? And then give that IP to the booters, right? If the, if the booters have the IP, the booters can kick them offline anytime. Unless, of course, they have a dynamic IP. So, just keep winning court cases, keep getting the IP from these individuals, and if they have a static IP, <laughs> their life is ruined. Even if they have a dynamic IP, we can ruin their life for a short period of time. At least we can do something to these guys. So listen, if you lag switch, you're a loser. Dead ass. Like, this is something that happened 10 years ago, and on the PS3 era, you might have been able to, <laughs> you can use it every once in a while, all right? To counter some of the other idiots using it. If you're still using it in 2018 to win games, what does that say about you? Let's be honest. NBA 2K18 is the least skilled basketball game in the entire franchise, and you have to use lag switches to get ahead? I'm telling you, my guy, is not a good look. There's people on the 25K high stakes court that'll delay you. So they'll increase the amount of latency to the point where you can't even really play. And on top of that, the lag switch you now. It's like these losers that just sit there on the up have all these tools now so they could be full on dickheads 24 seven. People are lag switching on dedicated servers in 2018 in the least skilled basketball game of all time. Holy, I cannot stand this toxic ass community, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, I put out a tweet frustrated. Baluba, Scott, Ronnie, something has to be done about these lag switchers. The problem's only growing and no one's getting banned. So let's 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 create a lag switch, guys. Come on. Alright, first thing we need is an Ethernet cable from this big box of wonders right here. It has to be long enough to reach my PS4, and I don't want to ruin my current Ethernet cable. I definitely need duct tape. Boom. Hey, what's good? We head into my brother's house. Hey, what y'all know about Canadian tires? I'm here for one thing. All right, so maybe I got two things. 370Z looking fire! Looking fire, son! Looking straight fire! All right, so check it out. Boom. Ethernet cable coming out the PS4. Lag switch is officially set. Hopefully it works properly, I think. I think I did everything correctly. We'll see. And then I'm going to plug that into my modem. So my setup's gonna look kinda wonky and I'm gonna be playing off of this one, but I'm gonna hop onto a park now and test it out. First, I gotta get a couple people to hop on with me. 
Okay, the setup is almost a million times better than I could have possibly anticipated. My PS4 is down there, modem is here, and the Switch lands right where I could use it. It's literally the most picture-perfect placement. So, I'm gonna give you an update. I just ran through this myself. Setup connection, use the LAN cable, easy. And uh, my internet connection seems to be working. I hit up Swante and I was, uh, okay, okay. I don't wanna show you guys any unnecessary information. Swante is gonna hop on with me. I'm gonna test it out on the park and hopefully things work out according to plan. I haven't done this in a while, I'm a little rusty. Look at those speeds, kinda low, huh? But that means that the ethernet cable works properly and I didn't accidentally cut the wrong wires or anything, so perfect. Swante's joining, baby. Wait, let it, ah, ah, ah. All right, I'm gonna invite Swante. <laughs> Swante DM me said, don't fry my router. <laughs> Got you, Swan. Look at these guys, bro. <laughs> Ads on ads on ads on ads on ads. You're serious, <laughs> of course they have serious, delayed man. in the beginning of their name. <laughs> like they move in like a movement. I have to message one of them, be like, yo, put me on the list, let me live. And they like, okay, you should be There's fine. a list of people that live. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah, man. Oh my God. So here's the thing about the lag switch. So there's two different ways to use it. There's a hardware lag switch, that's the one I built. But you can also get like a software lag switch. And the software lag switch is a little different because all it does is clog up your connection. So like, it'll send all this fake, it'll basically, it's, it's almost like a DDoS. You're almost DDoSing yourself to the point where your connection doesn't work anymore, temporarily. But the hardware lag switch is a little better because you can just turn it off and on. So it's not even like you're trying to bottleneck anything, you just completely cut everything off. I played on the uh, 500 court like five times, the 500 court. And you could tell they were doing it because it would only f up when we had the ball, but when they had the ball, no yeah. lag. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try to switch, bro. Wish me luck, Swan. Why are you doing it on our side? No! So I realized something. You can't cut off your connection totally. So I guess they use the software and they just slow down their connection. The thing about these software is like, I don't trust none of these shits. All of these could be viruses, man. If 2K has dedicated servers, what you're basically doing is you're stressing 2K servers to the point where everybody lags like crazy intermittently whenever you want it to, right? So how do you do that? I mean, there's one way you could do a DDoS attack, but DDoS attacks bring down the whole network and they're expensive and they're most definitely illegal. So that's not it. And even if you do the software version of a lag switch, you would still be stressing your own connection. So why is it that when they stress their own connection, everybody else has lag? That doesn't add up, it doesn't make any sense. Full power. <laughs> I should've got one of those switches that were like a dial. That might, might've made things easier. Like an on off. Oh f Swan? Yeah. That's the key, yo. If I get a switch that's a dial, I can slow down the internet connection to whatever level I want. I don't have to completely cut it off. Oh my God, man. Like you're just throttling your own connection with the dial. That would be fucking perfect. Swan, well, wish me luck, bro. It's probably gonna fail miserably. Look it real quick. Fuck! Good news, the switch works. Bad news, that is not how they do it. That is not how they do it, man.